The leader of the Democratic Party of Japan, Yukio Hatayuma, moved swiftly on Monday to select cabinet ministers after his party's historic victory over the ruling Liberal Democratic Party in the general election. He Mingzhi has the details. DPJ leader Hatayuma said he will focus on a quick and smooth transition and make a priority of choosing the nation's next finance minister. It took a long time, but I feel that now I start at the starting line. But this is not our goal. We cannot conduct politics for the people of Japan in the way we believe. I feel overwhelmed with emotion for that fact. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Taro Aso, conceding defeat, said he would resign as president of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party. The results of this general election are extremely difficult for the Liberal Democratic Party. I regret to have lost many of our colleagues, and as the representative of this party, I am responsible for this. I hereby will resign. On the streets of Tokyo, people cautiously welcome the new government. I'm hoping that they will clean up a lot of the waste that the LDP didn't, such as the bureaucracy. Official figures released shows that voter turnout hit record highs in Japan's lower house election. Results show the DPJ got over 300 of the 480 seats in Japan's lower house of parliament. Although the nation gave the Democrats a landslide win, most voters were seen as venting dissatisfaction with the Liberal Democratic Party. The task ahead for the Democrats is daunting. I saw that there was so much anger towards the dominance for too long by the LDP, but we will have to wait and see. It will take some time for us to see whether they are capable of making the situation any better. Hatoyama, fresh from a historic election win, now faces the task of forming a government to tackle challenges such as reviving the economy and steering a new course with Japan's closest ally, Washington. The DPJ has proposed an expensive array of initiatives: cash handouts to families and farmers, toll-free highways, a higher minimum wage, and tax cuts. The Democrats are also under scrutiny for their positions on national security and foreign policy. He Mingzhi, CCTV. You are watching CCTV International. More news just ahead. Stay tuned.